Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. I'm so glad to have you here with me today. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you here with me to play with the makeup. But if you are wondering what we're doing today, we're doing a palette first impressions. We are going to be playing with this right here. This is the Clarity Cosmetics Bloom Eyeshadow Palette. I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. It's actually called a pressed pigment palette, but neither here nor there. This is what she looks like. This is our arrangement of colors. We've got some green, some purple, some pink, some blue. Endless looks that can be created from like, I guess one shadow looks to oh, some smoky stuff, maybe even some cut creases. I mean, possibilities are endless, but we're doing a first impressions on it today. Here in a minute, we're gonna get into some swatches of it, but right now I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of the brand and the palette itself. Clarity Cosmetics is an independently owned makeup brand. It's based in the United States, I think it's in Texas to be specifically, and it is owned by a woman of color, and she has a variety of products. She has lipsticks. I think they recently expanded their range into blushes. They have various eyeshadow palettes. I know that people have said their previous palettes have been hit and miss with the formulations. I can't really speak on that. This is the first product I'm trying from the brand. So I don't know, but we'll see how she performs today. And just to give you a little bit of information about the palette itself, it retails for $48 USD on their website. And it says it consists of five pigmented mattes, three foiled eyeshadows, and two duochromes. And I will go ahead and go over all of the details, of which is which, when we go ahead and do some swatches. Now, this product is handmade. It is a vegan and cruelty free, super pigmented, buttery, easy to blend, has no fragrance, which, I mean, that's nice. And that's just a, some, you know, food for thought from their website. All right, let's go ahead and get into some swatches of the Bloom palette from Clarity Cosmetics. Okay, so the first shade that I'm swatching is called Rose Over Bros. It is a really, really creamy metallic formula. Like, you don't even really have to swirl your finger around in the pan. Just tap it and you get so much. The next shade is Don't Be So Posy. And this one is a matte. I mean, that's a pretty good swatch. I'm not mad about that. The next shade is Unbelievable, and that's another metallic shade. This one is green. And then we have another matte shade coming up, and that is a Such a Buttercup. The green doesn't swatch so well, the matte green. And I feel like it doesn't perform as well either, to be completely honest and transparent with you guys. All right, so the next shade we're swatching is called You Rose to the Occasion, and that is another one of those creamy metallic shades. And this one is a deep blue. Let me go ahead and do another pass just so you guys can get a better sense of the color. And there's that swatch. The next shade we're swatching is Thistle While You Work. And that is a matte blue shade. And now we're starting to get into some of those flakier, crumbly shimmer shades. And the first one is called I Iristist Iristable. It's Iris. Tible, like irresistible but with iris you know the flower um but this shade is a super flaky pink i think it's supposed to be like a duochrome maybe or that might be the next flaky flaky shade but there is a swatch of that one and i'm looking to see if i'm seeing any like shift on my finger and maybe a little bit, maybe to like a gold. I haven't used this shade yet, so I don't really know. It's very chunky and sparkly, so probably a lot of fallout with that one. This next shade is another matte, and it's called Just Pollen Your Leg. 
Oh, this one's not swatching the best. I'm gonna go in for more. And there's that shade. All right, we only have two shades left. The next shade is called Once and Floral. And this is one of those duochromes. It's got like pink, purple, blue, silver, whole bunch of stuff going on. And it's super chunky, super flaky. This is, it reminds me of a Pat McGrath a special shade, like the texture. Only I feel like this particular one doesn't have as much base pigment as Pat McGrath shades typically do. Um, but it's very similar in formula and like the way it feels. I do have to say that. The next shade, the last one in this palette is called Blooming Around and that is kind of like this deep blue purple shade. It's like maybe an indigo. Maybe you could classify this as like an indigo shade because I feel like swatched out it maybe pulls a little bit more blue but in the pan it definitely looks more purple and I think when you compare it to these more pinky plummy shades it definitely could pull a little bit more purple. And those right there are the swatches. I'm bring up my arm a little bit closer so you can get a better look. But those are all of the swatches of the Bloom eyeshadow palette from Clarity Cosmetics. Alright guys, I'm going rogue today. I'm not priming my eyes. I've got concealer on them. I'm tapping it out with my little sponge. We're going with it. I can't be bothered. I really, I can't. But I know we all have those days, right? It's one of them for me. And I might regret this. This might turn real bad real fast, but we're gonna see what happens. I gonna grab a rough for number 12. It's just like this dense dome brush. And you can use it for packing on shadows, blending. I like to use it for cream products mostly, but I'm gonna use it for this palette today. And to start things off, I'm gonna go in with this green shade right here. It's called Such a Buttercup. I'm just going to dip my brush into it and get it nice and coated. I mean, there's a little kick up, but I mean, like, I dip, I coated my brush. And I'm going to start just by taking the brush and patting it down in the shape I want. I'm going to keep it kind of rounded. And then I'm going to just pack down that rest of that shade. Because there's not like a huge like range in this palette specifically, like if I wanted to like go from lightest to dark, I really would have to pull in a different palette just because these shadows are just like so deep and so richly pigmented. Like look at this green right now. Look at it go. Like I haven't dipped back in. That's just like what was on this. It looks very nice. Let's go ahead and do the other side. And if you're wondering why I decided, oh yeah, it's a great idea to do your base first. I'm doing a wear test on foundation. <sighs> but I'm just I'm trying to keep my brows relaxed. Something that I personally have an issue with is when I'm doing my makeup, I like to raise my eyebrows because my eyes are hooded. And for some reason I feel like that helps it does not it does not it just makes it like harder to even things up so personally i'm working on trying not to raise up these eyebrows but i think that i'm doing a good job so far at matching the sides up i can't complain it def could be worse I'm gonna go back in and add a little bit more of the green shade to this eyeball. Now I'm going to take, no I'm not, where is my bouche? No I'm not, where is my bouche? Okay, I'm gonna take this Morphe M573. It's a lovely blending brush. Like, it's like the perfect size for my eyes. Like, I love how it fits. It's wonderful. And I'm going to go into this blue shade right here on the end. 
This is called a thistle while you work. Is there like a little plasticky bit on this mirror? Because I can't see anything. Plasticky, plasticky, plasticky bit, plasticky bit, oh, plasticky bit. All right. I'm picking up some of that blue shade now. Really coating my brush with it, and I'm gonna blend the edges. So I'm gonna start small circular motions. And just blend these edges. These colors are working very well together. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more. Mm. I am noticing it's getting a little patchy. And you know, that could have been because you know I had this great idea of not priming my eyeballs and we just kind of went for it. That death could be the case. Now I'm going to wipe off this brush because it's probably got some green on it now. And I'm going to go back into the blue shade. This will while you work. And I'm just going to start bring it in just a little bit. I don't think the problem is the green shade. I think the problem might be this this will while you work. Okay. I don't want it too dark. I don't want it too richly pigmented. Y'all, I have a cat hair on my chin. It's been on my chin for like 10 minutes and I can't stand it. I'm so irritated. It won't leave me. And I y'all know I can't see. So I can't see the cat hair. There was a cat hair on my makeup brush. Okay, so cat's definitely been like um been visiting my room. I'm going to go into the other eye now. And we're gonna do the same thing, blending the edges. I don't know about you guys, but I make some real strange faces when I'm blending. My eyeshadow. And now I'm just gonna bring it in a little bit. I know I wipe my brush off of the other eye, but I guess we're abandoning that tactic today. I'm bring, I'm just gonna blend them out just a smidge more. Yeah, I feel like we match better now. I'm gonna go back in with this brush, because that blue definitely took away this green right here in the outer corner. All right, now I'm starting to not know how I feel about this. I'm just gonna blend a new additional product on this brush. This is just what was already there. And I'm just blending where that green and blue meet right here. We may be more zoomed in than before. Maybe not. I'm not sure my camera cut off. You know, whatever. All I've done is I took a little bit more blue, brought it in really lightly, and then I cut my crease. I used my ABH eye primer and a Morphe 213, my favorite brush to cut a crease with. But, any hoozy, let us continue on keeping on. I'm going to find a shadow brush. Brush, 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 brush. I don't think so. This is horrible. All these brushes, I can't find anything. We'll just use this Morphe one to start with. I'm going to use Unbelievable, which is this green shimmer. And I'm just going to start packing it on. I 
and I'm gonna go into a little bit of You Rose to the Occasion, which is a, that blue metallic shade on the end. And I'm gonna put that in the outer corner. Or not the outer corner, but the edge. I'm gonna use my finger a little bit. I'm really not jiving with this right now. This is not going as expected. But we will try to fix this. I think. I'm gonna take the green all the way in though. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dip into such a buttercup again with a rougher 13 and I'm just going to connect it up in this outer corner and bring it in. You For my inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight, I'm using my Natasha Denona Glam Face and Eye Palette in Dark. I'm just using the highlight shade from there. And really, because of how I brought the green in, I don't really need much of an inner corner highlight. But I do just want to bring some brightness and a shine right on this bottom edge of like my inner tear duct. Alright guys, so this is the final look with this eyeshadow palette all completed. I put on some blue eyeliner and I put on some mascara and a lip. And I don't know if you caught it, I don't, I'm not sure, my camera had cut off and everything. I did put a little bit of my face highlight, which is the highlighter from the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette in Dark. I put that right in here, just to, you know, add a little, a little pop. But other than that, I am done with this look. I'm going to have to play with this a little bit more, definitely, and try to do some different kinds of looks with it. Maybe it just needs a different, and maybe it needs a better base than, you know, NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer because that's what I used and not the best. So I am going to try this again. I'll probably do like a three looks, one palette with it. Just, you know, play with some more shades or maybe do it like a full face of nothing new, something along those lines. But I don't know if you guys can tell, but. And this outer edge, it was a little patchy. It was a little difficult to blend the shades and to work with them. At first, I felt like they were blending into each other really well, but it did take a little bit of extra effort. Um, these are extremely pigmented shadows. The mattes are so pigmented. So a little goes a long way and it can get a little hairy sometimes, you know, if you're not being super precise or something like that. But I really, I enjoyed this. I really did. I enjoyed this look that I created. I think it's very pretty and I like the tones of the green and the blue and like something else that I do want to say and then this this is in no way bashing an independently owned brand or anything like that. This shade right here I did not expect it to be super crumbly and it's just like it's spongy. It's like the weirdest thing. I'm like look I just tapped it. It's just like the weirdest formula. I've never experienced something like that and it makes me very scared that this is going to be very fragile. But it's very pretty. But yeah, like I said, I'm definitely going to have to play with it some more. So far so good. I mean, a little patchiness and everything could just simply be because I used a concealer and not a standard eyeshadow primer so I'm not gonna you know knock it really for that I think the color story is beautiful and it's definitely like the vibe I'm feeling right now so if you haven't subscribed already please do I mean if you want to see me create some more looks with this then you know definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell give me a thumbs up because it really helps my channel out and I would love to see you around here again to play with the makeup. This is a place for makeup lovers. And yeah, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Um, yeah. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to pop off and I will see you guys in the next one. Again, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.